In other words, this is how testimony service at church ought to go. In other words, instead of standing up and saying, I've got a new car, you stand up and say, look at how God has blessed us. Because what he's done for me, he can do the same for you. When their kids come back to church, you shout like your kids came back to church. When they get healed from cancer, you shout like you got healed from cancer. When you prayed for them and God answered the prayer, you prayed for them, you rejoice as if it happened to you. And see, you ought to be glad when somebody else is in the overflow. See, see, the problem with some of us is that we operate in such a way that we've made the overflow selfish. See, see, I need you to understand that the overflow is not selfish. It's supposed to be contagious. In other words, anybody remember these old school ice trays? Anybody under 35 knows about ice makers. They don't know about these trays. Can I get a witness out there? Now, now isn't it amazing how in an ice tray, in order to fill it up, you got to turn it to the side. And then what happens is you got to cause one cube to overflow. But if you next to the one that's overflowing, if you're next to somebody overflowing, then guess what? The overflow is going to pour over into you. In other words, I'm not going to get mad when I see you in the overflow. I'm going to stand next to you because the overflow has to go somewhere. And if I'm next to you, when you overflow, guess what? It's going to overflow into my cup. Oh, God. And what I'm saying to somebody else is when they're overflowing, don't get mad. Get close because God is simply going to send some your way. Are y'all hearing me today, friends?